Hello student of class 9, let's continue our chapter Improvement in Food Resources. In my last video, I discussed about the Karif crop and Ravi crop, that is a seasonable crop. Depending on the rain amount, the crop is depend. Today, let's discuss about the irrigation process. Irrigation is the process of distributing water to the crop. Most agriculture in India is rain fed. That is the success of crops in most areas is dependent on timely monsoons and sufficient rainfall spread through most of the growing season. Hence, poor monsoons cause crop failure. Ensuring that the crops get water at the right stage during their growing season can increase the expected yield of any crops. So student here yield means production. Therefore many measures are used to bring more and more agricultural land under irrigation. So irrigation is required because sometimes timely not rain come so depending on time whenever require water then we can manually give water distribution to the crop so that our crop do not go for failure droughts occur because of scarcity or irregular distribution of rains Drought poses a threat to rain fed farming areas where farmers do not use irrigation for crop production and depends only on rain. Light soils have less water retention capacity. In areas with light soil, crop get adversely affected by drought condition. Scientists have developed some crop varieties which can tolerate drought condition also. So one thing we have come to know here, timely water distribution is necessary for crop success. So if any farmer or any crop totally depend on the rain water, then this crop can be failed also. So on time, also, time we have to distribute the water so that we can prevent the failure of crop. In India has a wide variety of water resources and highly varied climate. Under such condition, several different kinds of irrigation system are adapted to supply water to agricultural lands depending on the kinds of water resources available. So these water resources include wells, canals, rivers and tanks. Wells, there are two types of wells, namely dug wells and tube wells. In a dug well, water is collected from water bearing strata. Tube wells can tap water from the deeper strata from these wells water is lifted by palms for irrigation another water resource is here canals this is usually an elaborate and extensive irrigation system in this system canals receive water from one or more reservoirs or from rivers. This main canal is divided into branch canal having further distributes to irrigate fields. Another water source is river lift system. In areas where canal flow is insufficient or irregular due to inadequate reservoir release 
the leaf system is more rational water is directly drawn from the rivers and supplementing irrigation in areas close to rivers and another source is tanks these are small storage reservoirs which intercept and store the runoff of smaller catchment areas fresh initiatives for increasing the water available for agriculture include rainwater harvesting and watershed management this involves building small check dams which led to an increase in groundwater levels and the check dams stop the rainwater from flowing away and also reduce the soil erosion so student today we have come to know about the irrigation process irrigation process is very important process for crop success so if rain is not coming timely then also we can distribute water from the various source and we have come to know the different source that well is also their canals river leaf system and tanks these are the different source from where we can distribute the water timely and we can prevent the crop failure 